Hello, everyone, and welcome to this sample Go Spring class. Your friend Paris here to begin sharing this practice with you. And just a little weather report for this practice. I'm going to talk about two, three minutes or so just to create a little bit more context for what this practice is and why it is that we're doing it. And then we'll move into a 30 minute sample beginning Go Springs practice. So please prop your hips, either sitting on a block or a couple of blankets, a pillow, something to elevate your hips so your knees can descend from them. And <clears throat> to set ourselves up in a healthy sitting position, honoring the natural curves of the spine, we're going to pull the flesh of the upper thighs and the bottom of the glutes out from underneath us. So I'm taking my left hand and um, receiving my right upper inner thigh and my right hand right at the kind of bottom of the butt and I'm rolling them back and wide so the butt cheeks are actually parting away from each other and I do that on both sides and <clears throat> thanks so much again for taking the time to view this class and to tune into a style of movement that is very primal and what I believe is most natural to us. So let's begin by just visualizing a spine, a healthy spine that has its natural curves in place. So we can begin by even just pressing or um, touching the back of our skull. <clears throat> we can feel how it moves naturally outward and trace then the down and the back of the neck. It naturally moves inward. And then the thoracic spine, below the cervical spine will naturally move outward. The lumbar spine moves inward. The hips then move outward. And we're going to be really plugging ourselves into these intelligent curves today so that we can find uh, freedom of movement and a really healthy posture to position our body in, no matter what it is that we are doing. So this is an alignment system that is encouraged to take into everything that we do throughout our day to maintain freedom of movement and health throughout the body and health through the mind. So in our confident seat, um, please place your hands at the base of your ribs and the fingers point in front and the thumbs point in the back of the ribs and there's a light pressing in with both of the hands and the bottom of the ribs live at the narrowing of the waist. So we're not all the way up here, we're not all the way down here, but we're in just kind of that narrowing of the waist where we can receive the bottom of the ribs. And welcome your inhalation so that the bottom of the ribs begin to press wide into your hands. You can close your eyes here if that feels good to you. Welcoming your awareness to focus more internally. And as we expand our awareness inside of our body, giving ourselves an opportunity to fully arrive inside of the body, press the ribs wide into your hands with each inhalation really filling and widening at the bottom of the ribs. The sides of the ribs, they move horizontally outward to accompany this full breath that we are choosing to receive. Release your hands from the bottom of the ribs and give yourself a great big hug, wrapping your hands around your shoulders and then lower your chin to your chest and really begin to fill and widen through the thoracic spine. This is our primary curve that moves naturally outward that we begin to cultivate through this practice. As the shoulders move wide from each other, the space begins to fill with breath through the back of the heart. Now as you take three more breaths here, widening and broadening through the back of the heart, continue that mission of pressing the bottom ribs wide simultaneously.
receive this embrace from your, yourself. Mm, and then on your next exhalation, re release your hands from your shoulders. And from the bottom of the ribs, we're gonna lift them really, really high while continuing to stay full through the back of the ribs. Now smile open through your collarbones without drawing your shoulders on your back. So the shoulders, if anything, they're really going wide here from your neck. Lift your chin from your chest. Now press your sitting bones back and wide into your seat so that your belly grows a little bit longer as the bottom of the ribs lift towards the sky. Now, with your eyes closed, imagine a column of light moving down from the center of your heart, out through your pelvic floor and into the earth. And as we root into the earth, we can imagine then the column of light moving back up through the body, through the heart, and through the neck, face, brain, and out through the crown of the head. And it's moving high into the sky. And begin to feel your body being stretched in opposite directions, rooting down below solidly to the earth beneath us, and then extending the crown really high to the heavens above us. Allow your rib cage to begin to expand equally on all sides. So here we're going long and wide. The length and the column of energy and light we call central channel. The ribs full on all directions, in all directions, we call radiant heart in the Bowspring method. So central channel takes us really long, opening the belly, opening the neck, allowing yourself to grow taller with each breath as you root and rise. And then radiant heart fills into that space with width. On your next exhalation, we're going to lift the arms from the body out into the horizon so they lift in front of us and then push yourself forward from your prop seat and let's come into an all fours position. Remove your block or blanket <clears throat> and step your hands wider than your shoulders so that the pinkies are coming off the sides of your mats, typically for most bodies. And then a little bit more in front of the shoulders as well. Now, step the knees hip width distance and then we're just going to collapse through the shoulders, just letting the heart sink. And then on your next exhalation, what I want you to do is actually push then the back of the ribs really high to the sky. <clears throat> and then go ahead and draw the pubis in and curl your belly button in as you really round. Now pause here as you lift fully through the back of the ribs, lifting them towards the sky. Now keep that really full, the back of the ribs, as you uncurl the tailbone and allow your pelvis to begin to move anteriorly so that lumbar curve is present in the spine. Lift your chin from your chest and imagine that you're pushing the back of your head into an imaginary headrest. Yep, so it's just lifting a little bit higher than it typically would to open the front of the throat little bend to your elbows, and then exhale, pulse it back and pulse it forward. Back and forward. Let's do this about five times. With each pulse, push your ribs away from the earth, and then smile open through your collarbones as you reach back and wide through your sitting bones and hips. Extend the crown of the head in front of you, lifting the chin from the chest. So we're opening the front of the body and beginning to tone the back of the body. On your exhalation, sit really far back through the hips without curling your tailbone. So I don't want to do this. I want to keep the sitting bones widening. 
and then go ahead and walk your hands in and keep that fullness of the heart so much that you actually can lift the arms with lightness. Take three pulses here, rooting through the hips and lifting through the ribs. Extend the crown of the head towards the sky as we simultaneously open the pelvic floor. Pause here with your fingertips on the ground. Really sit back and wide into your hips and then tip your left ear to your left shoulder. Keep your chin aligned with your sternum. Now we're gonna reach the arms forward and then wide to the left. Lower your left hand to the ground. Keep your right fingertips lowered and then we're gonna pulse in and out of the hips, opening the right side body. Keep your ribs moving away from the earth so that back rib primary thoracic curve stays really full and enlivened with each dynamic pulse that we engage in. Part your back teeth and soften your face. Love yourself for showing up and turning on this class and trying something new. Extend your sitting bones really far back behind you without rounding the lower back. So we keep the the back curve present, and then sit back in wide through the hips, and we can lift the arms, and let's slide them back to center. Take it to the other side. Sit back in wide through the hips. Tip your right ear to your right shoulder. Slide on your hands to the right. Lower your right hand to the ground, and keep your left fingertips on the ground. Sit back in wide through the hips again as you breathe the ribs forward, opening and arcing, arcing to the right, opening the left side body. Three, push the ribs wide, fill the back of the heart bravely. Lift the chin from the chest without kinking the back of the neck. We just want the cervical curve to be long. Sit back, lift your arms, slide them back to center. Lower your fingers and your hands to the ground. <clears throat> and in this all fours position, press down through your knees and then wide. Use the width of the knees, the, the, the knees moving wide, to anchor your glutes up. So I'm literally lifting my, the bottom of the butt towards the ceiling and widening my butt cheeks from each other. Push your ribs away from the earth and soften your belly. And we'll take three pulses here. So we begin moving inside of the natural brilliance of the curves. And we have to remember their direction first. Curl your toes under and without deflating through the ribs. So we still want to keep the ribs moving away from the ground. Lift your knees and we're going to swivel on your feet and lower your hip to the ground. Begin to slide that bottom arm up and away from the body. And let's come into this side position. Now, as I lower my torso to the ground, my knees are bent. Please press down through your hands and scooch your ribs away from your hips so that your right side body begins to get longer. Step your hips behind your ribs and then push your butt back. Yeah, really widen it east to and west. And then walk your left fingertips out in front of you. Angle the, el the left elbow towards this side and then we're gonna part the top leg from the bottom leg. Let's take 10 slow bicycle pedals here, pushing the knee forward and dragging the heel back. I want the bicycle pedals to, um, I want them to be in the front plane of the body, meaning that I keep the knee in front of the hip through each rotation. I'm not um, taking it all the way behind me. I'm keeping the knee in the front plane of the body. This helps to keep all three muscle glute groups engaged through this bicycle pedal. Now, soften your breath, deepen it wildly as you then begin to just open the front of the body, push your left elbow forward and away from the body. 
here for three, two, and one. Keep that left uh, top leg parted and then place your top hand to your top leg at the baseline. We're gonna pulse it wide and pulse it narrow. Here for 10, nine. Allow tension to release itself through the belly. And then feel the curves of your spine, that midline, begin to lengthen from root to crown. Three, two, and one. So good. Slowly begin to roll on the back, back of the head, back of the ribs and hips, and then shift your hips, head, and ribs back to center. And here we are in this supine position. Walk your feet in and lift your hips a couple of inches. Grab the bottom of your butt and lift it up and then wide. Slowly place the hips back on the ground. Lift your arms towards the sky. Gently curl your fingers in and then cross your right wrist over your left and reach both of your hands um, to forward and to the left and they gently push into one another. Use that to help fill and round through the right ribs. Keep that fullness as you bring your hands back to center, switch out the cross, reach your hands up and over to the right. They gently push into one another to feel a toning on the left side as well as a rounding through the ribs. Come to center one more time on each side. Uncross the wrists and then lift your feet from the ground. Keep your knees pushing away from your body and then draw the tops of your feet towards your knees so we begin to tone the front of the ankles. Now really reach your hands to the sky and the knees, they're not curling in because if we curl in, then I lose my curves and I want to keep my curves. You can see that my lower back rounds to the ground. So we want to keep the curves and keeping the curves the, while pushing the knees away from the body, extend the knees to the right and hover them. And then cross your right wrist over the left, push the wrists into one another as they extend to the left. Inhale, come to center, uncross your arms, and then hover your knees to the left as you reach your arms to the right, crisscross, right over left, and then to center, and two more times on each side. Breathe your curves long. So we want the head extending high and up, and the pelvis rooting wide and back. And then come to center. Let's roll to the opposite side that you were on for side bow. <clears throat> Extending your bottom arm out and then place your hands on the ground and really use the ground and to pull your ribs away from your hips lengthening that bottom side body. Bend the knees and then step your hips behind your ribs and then widen and fill through the back of the ribs as you walk your top hand onto its fingertips in front of your chest. Not here in front of your chest, but really wide. Now, noticing where your gaze is, we don't want it to be down to close the front of the throat. We want it to lift. So the front of the throat opens and top and part your top leg from your bottom leg. 10 slow bicycle pedals. Push your butt back. Imagine that your butt cheeks are widening from each other so your booty is blossoming here. The left hip is pushing wide into the ground as the right hip pushes wide into the sky. Keep the knee in the front plane of the body so that we can continue to activate the glutes with each rotation of the leg. Place your top hand on uh, the bottom of your top thigh and then pulse it wide and pulse it narrow. Angle the top of your foot towards your knee 
to tone the front ankle. Three, two, and one. Lower the top leg to the ground or to the bottom leg. And then let's rotate onto our bellies. <clears throat> and widen your elbows and just relax your hands on top of one another and rest your forehead on your hands. Press down through the tops of the feet and then drag them forward towards your knees so we feel the front ankles lift. Press down through your knees and drag them forward towards your uh, hips and we can feel the hips lift. And then just rotate from side to side. Walk your hands wide like they were, you were in a push-up position, angling the elbows towards the sky, and then begin to squeeze your heels back in like you had a hand pressing on your heels away, like pushing your heels down to the ground. But you were resisting that. Keep pushing your knees down and forward as you push down through your hands and reach your hips back and up, and we're in this all fours position once again. Step your hands a little bit wider than your shoulders. Step more in front of your shoulders, a little bend to the elbows. Now, just go ahead and collapse here, right? Let's feel the opposite for a moment. So we collapse and draw the shoulders on the back. We can get heavy through the spine. Now, begin to wake up the natural curves by pushing the thoracic spine towards the sky. And then pushing and then angling the bottom of your butt towards the sky and then lifting your chin from your chest so the front of the throat opens, and imagining that you're pressing the back of your skull into an imaginary headrest. Press down through the tops of the feet and drag them forward towards your knees to lift through the front ankles, and we'll take three pulses forward and back here. Soften your belly. Now we're so enlivened through our curves, let's keep that as we curl the toes under, lift the knees without collapsing through the heart, and then step your right foot wide and your left foot wide. Bend your knees and then slowly walk your hands halfway back. Anchor the weight in the front of the feet so we're light through the heels, and then push your ribs away from the earth as you reach your hips back again. Come up onto your fingertips without weight bearing so we don't want to be like this we want to be with each finger there's a little bend in all of the joints now keeping a little lift through your heels slowly begin to extend your legs long while reaching your ribs forward and then bend we'll do this two more times extend bend extend Bend, and now reach your arms in front of you. Gently curl the fingers in towards the palm of the hand. Blossom your booty back as you push your knees forward. And then with a full rib cage on all sides, slowly begin to rise. Step a little, step the feet a little bit narrow. Awesome. Take your hands to the base of your ribs. Fingers in the front, thumbs in the back, and take three slow breaths here. Like you're filling a balloon with air. And on the bottom of the ribs, they push wide, like you have gills, gills of a fish. Weight your paws, so that's the front of the feet, so we're light through the heels and then release the bottom of your ribs and give yourself a great big hug with your opposite arm on top and then draw your chin in towards your chest and then really round through the upper back, little bend to the knees and push your butt back as you continue to round fully through the thoracic spine. Release your hands from your 
shoulders and come up into a chin up bar. So imagine that you're holding a bar, <clears throat> fingers are curled in, bend your knees, and now the whole rib cage lifts. And it's like you're pulling on a bar where the, the ribs are inflating and buoyant as you sit the hips back. And let's take five pulses here. Lift the chin from the chest and then begin to lean back into yourself without drawing the shoulders on the back. So we lean back into the radiant heart space that lives in the ribs. Keep the weight anchored through the fronts of the feet, light through the heels. Three, two, one. Ecstasy, the arms. Slide the uh, fingertips above the ears. Angle your or hug your elbows in to be aligned with your shoulders. So not like this, but not like this. We want them to be narrow. Weight the fronts of the feet, the paws, light through the heels, and now push just lightly back into yourself while extending your elbows forward. Soften your belly, release any tension in your jaw by parting your teeth and exhale, we're gonna arc up and over to the right. Now, set the hips back like you're sitting into an imaginary chair and lift the ribs really high from the hips as you then begin to pulse it here. Imagine that you're arcing like a really big, beautiful rainbow. So we're rooting back and wide through the hips and the legs and then lifting the ribs from the hips to lengthen the waistband and the belly. Lower your bottom arm from your head and place it, um, receive it in a horseshoe hand with your thigh and push your hand into your thigh and your thigh back into your hand to feel a little bit more lift through the front and the left side body. Three, Two, and one. Inhale, come to center, and let's arc to the opposite direction. Now we're arcing up and over, sitting back through the hips, and then sprouting, lengthening energy from the hips into the belly and into the torso. And then taking the full rib cage up and over to invite this whole side body to lengthen. Gently push back into yourself. Light through your heels, rooted through your paws. Lower your left hand to your left thigh. Thumb on the inside, fingers on the outside. And then use this hand to gently push into your leg width to lengthen your belly. Sit your hips back. Three, two, one. Inhale, lift. And then on your next exhalation, send your arms forward. Gently curl your toe, uh, fingers in towards the palm of the hand. Step the feet wide. <clears throat> Step the feet wide. Bend the knees forward, root your hips back. And then lifting your waistband from the hips, Take some seaweed sways. Weighting the right leg, weighting the left leg, and feeling the fluidity of movement that happens when we really plug into the natural intelligent curves of the spine and the curves of the body. Now from the bottom of your ribs, begin to lift your hands so high. So not just from our shoulders, right? But from the bottom of the ribs, sit your hips back. And then we're gonna lift that right hand and connect that reach with the bottom of your right rib. And then bring it back to center and then reach with, uh, up with the left hand, root back through the hips and then reach from the bottom of your left rib so high. And one more time, sit the hips back, lift. Yes. So freeing, so nourishing for the body to really fill up on the space that's available. Woo, taking our hips from side to side. 
Yeah, I like to shake, I really do. And then from that shaking place, you can take some movement into your shoulders. And yes, this can be really cathartic, but we also really wanna be very mindful of shaking and ensuring that our body is safe while we give it its opportunity to be its most primal, primal um, energy. Yeah, take a big breath in. And a big sigh out, oh, yeah, great, great, great. Okay, with the feet wide, the weight rooted through the paws of the feet, so the paws right here, this is the paw, it's the front of the feet. So we weight the front of the feet light through the heels and extend your arms forward and up from the body, curl your fingers in, bend your knees, sit your hips back and really push your butt back and wide as you bend the knees light through the heels and then reach the ribs forward as you slowly lower your fingertips to the ground. Extend the legs, keep your ribs full and then bend the right leg and extend that left leg to receive a stretch on the inseam of the left. Center, bend, and then shift left, extend your right leg. Bend, extend your left leg. Ooh. Bend, extend your right leg. Bend, lower your hands to the ground, step yourself back to an all fours position. Uncurl your toes so that the tops of your feet are pressing down into your mat and then forward towards your knees to lift through the ankles. Now, press down through your knees and press them wide from each other, your knees wide energetically. And now mount the bottom of your butt towards your sacrum. So the bottom of your butt is lifting towards the sky. And shift right and hover your left knee. Tense little bicycle pedals here without dropping your tail. So I want to keep the butt moving up and wide instead of here, right? I want to keep it lifting. Five. Two. And one, now listen carefully. Ensure that the hands are stepped wider than your shoulders and a little bit more in front of the shoulders. Now keeping that left knee lifted, we're gonna push it forward and wide to the side and take 10 slow breast strokes here. Imagining that you're swimming through nice warm water, maybe at a beach somewhere. And you are getting that resistance of the water helping you to find tone through your body. Five. Sit back and wide through the hips. Breathe the ribs forward, push them away from the ground. Two and one. Now, step the left foot forward in heel in alignment with your right knee or behind it. Angle the left toes forward and diagonal and hover your left heel. Sit back and wide through the hips as you push the knees forward. Yeah, the bottom of the butt lifts as both butt cheeks part east to west. Tip your right ear to your right shoulder and then lift from the fullness of your left ribs. We can lift that left arm and maybe come onto the fingertips. And little mini pulses here without dropping your tail or deflating through the ribs. So we can revisit this energy of central channel, which is inviting the body to get really long. We lift the ribs from the hips, we lift the skull from the shoulders, and allow ourselves to really step into this powerful length and space that lives inside the body. And then we move the ribs wide, the hips wide, inside of that length. Lower the left hand to the ground, shift right, lift your left leg, lower your left foot, left knee. Take a couple of poses just to recalibrate. And if we can push your left ribs wide, right ribs wide. 
move how it feels best to you. Just to reset the nervous system, get us ready for the second side. And this time we're going to shift left and hover your right knee. Now push the right knee forward, my friends, as you reach the hips back. Extend your ribs away from the ground, little bend to the elbows, 10 slow bicycle pedals here. Bottom of the butt lifts, ribs so vibrant and full, pushing wide horizontally as you extend the crown of the head away from the ribs. Three, notice how I'm keeping my knee in the front plane of my body and not taking it fully back, right? And then exhale, push the left right knee forward and then simultaneously wide and then slowly take your breast strokes. If you want to lift that right arm, if it's really light, then do so, but know that we're lifting it from the fullness of the ribs, not just isolating the arm. Three, push the butt back and wide. Two, breathe the ribs forward. One, and slowly step the right foot forward and diagonal, heel aligned with your left knee or step to behind. Align your chin with arch, yeah, align your chin with your sternum and take your left ear to your left shoulder. Sit back and wide through the hips and then keep them anchored as you pulse. So I keep my hips um, expanding horizontally as I reach my ribs forward. I don't just go like this, right? I'm not just doing this. I keep them anchored in their fullness, breathing the ribs forward. Three, two, oh, feels so good. <laughs> And one, yes, great. Lower that right hand to the ground, lift the right leg, lower your foot, your knee, and then take some organic movements here in the hips from side to side, maybe the ribs. Yeah, so great. All right, let's find one more radiant heart expression before we take it to the floor and close out our practice. So go ahead and draw your chin towards your chest, draw your pubic bone towards your belly button, really rounding out the full spine. And then we wanna keep that fullness through the thoracic spine by bringing a little bend into your elbows and then slowly untucking your tailbone, allowing that lumbar curve to be present as you lift your chin from your chest. Yeah. Now curl your toes under. Keep that fullness of the ribs, my friend, as you lift the knees and step your feet wide, bend your knees, push your butt back, breathe your ribs forward. Five. This is called crouching cat. Two. And one. Step your feet together. Pivot on your paws, the fronts of your feet, knees to the right, and lower your left hip down and away from that left hand. So there's a lot of space here. Lower your top leg to your bottom, and then slide your left arm forward and up. Yes. And then let's roll onto the back and mindfully Inch yourself back onto your space. Walk your feet in towards your hips. Lift your hips. Grab your glutes. Send them up and away from each other. And then lower your hips to the ground. Please <clears throat> lower your fingertips in front of your shoulders with your thumbs closest to your shoulders. Reach your elbows towards the sky. Lift your chin just a little bit from your chest so that cervical curve at your neck is present. And then push down through your head just, just lightly and then push down through your ribs lightly. Push down through your hips lightly. Now keeping these spheres 
really rooted. Lift your knees, reach your elbows towards the sky while keeping the fingers anchored. And then we're going to hover the knees to the right. Inhale to center, to the left, center, and now engage in some bicycle pedals. So the elbows, shoulder width distance, are extending towards the sky. And then we're dragging the heels back and up towards the glutes through each rotation. Let the belly get really long here as we integrate the intelligence of the curves and remember them their most primal nature offering us freedom of movement, freedom of pain, freedom of being. Wonderful, lower your feet to the ground, <clears throat> lift your hips, grab your glutes, send them up and out, and walk your shoulder blades away from each other. Extend your, ta uh, your right leg to the sky and interlace your hands behind the thigh. And then keeping the toes soft, go ahead and bring some circles into the ankle, both directions. Push your thigh into your hands and your hands back into your thigh. And I don't want the leg to be so far in here that I lose the curve, right, in my low back. I wanna keep the leg extending away from the body so that curve is present. Extend the sole of your foot towards the ceiling. And then bend your right leg, cross your right leg, ankle over your left knee. Bring your finger, reach your fingertips towards the sky and lift your left ankle. Push your knees again away from the body and we're going to hover the knees to the right and reach your hands to the left. Imagine that you were holding two puppet strings with your hands and they were lifting your body away from the earth. So we're not just collapsing, right? We're lifting. And then knees rotate back to center, uncross top leg, grab your glutes, send them up and out if you lost that curve. And then elongate the left leg, push the hand into the thigh, the thigh back into the hand, keeping the toes gently curled back. Circle the ankle. Both directions. Cross ankle over knee. Lift your hands to the sky, gently curl your fingers in. As you lift the right leg, push your knees away from the body, hover your knees to the right. Inhale to center, uncross the top leg from the bottom leg, grab your glutes, send them up and out. And then for our last pose freedom, we're going to please receive the tops of your knees with your hands and let your knees go wide. Lift your chin from your chest and then roll on your head, your heart and your hips from side to side. Feel the rounded fullness living in the back of the heart. The rounded fullness living through the hips and the head. I'll meet you in neutral. Lower your feet to the ground, lift your hips, grab your glutes, send them up and out. Lower your feet wide and down to the ground. And then let's just receive ourselves in one last hug and peeling um, peeling any of the stagnation that lives in the back of the heart, just peeling it away from allowing space to begin to continue to lift through the ribs and the heart. And then keeping that fullness as you release your hands from your shoulders, resting them wide from the body with the palms facing up towards the sky. Lift your chin from your chest just ever so slightly to open that channel of the throat. So you take a sweet breath that fully receives you in this assimilation pose. Give your weight to the ground. And as you give your weight to the ground, 
begin to feel an energy rising up with lightness. Even though we're feeling gravity's pull inward, begin experiencing the lightness that comes from grounding so fully and authentically. Rest here as long as you like. When you're ready to transition from this space, please do so mindfully. And thank you so much for giving yourself this opportunity to try something new, to experience something different in your body. Because when we do something different, we can expect something different. From my healthy curves to your healthy curves, we can join in this unity of breath and consciousness. Thanks so much for participating. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.